I'm not a big believer in impossible. And I'm in some good company. The Wright brothers. Chuck Yeager. Of course, they didn't do it alone. Charles Taylor, a bike mechanic turned world's first aviation mechanic, built an engine capable of delivering the nine horsepower required to get the right flyer off the ground at Kitty Hawk. And just when it looked like any hope for Jaeger's X1 to break the sound barrier before shattering into pieces was lost, Jack Ridley suggested the stabilizers be moved to the back, and the rest was history. The Wright brothers and Charles Taylor, Chuck Yeager and Jack Ridley, they all had one thing in common. They didn't believe in impossible, and neither did the innovators that followed. In 1974, Pentagon officials admitted they were falling behind Russian technology. Our advanced fighters were vulnerable to their anti-aircraft defenses. Air Force planners invited industry to help make an aircraft invisible. Impossible until engineer Dennis Overholzer discovered a set of formulas that when applied to computer code, worked out the necessary angles needed to scatter radar beams. The hopeless diamond, as it was dubbed, could never fly, until it did. The F-117A took to the sky, sealing the future and validity of stealth aircraft. Challenging impossible isn't always solved by technology. Benjamin O. Davis Jr. commissioned into a segregated U.S. military. He commanded and flew with the storied Red Tails during World War II, proving that a War Department committee challenging the efficacy of black pilots was baseless. The Tuskegee record spoke for itself and was the catalyst for President Truman's executive order integrating the armed services. Jeannie Levitt began her career at a time when women weren't allowed to be combat pilots. Graduating at the top of her class, her dream to be a fighter pilot was delayed by policy, but not denied. You found out that you could finally fulfill your dream. Oh, I was very excited. In 1993, she would become the Air Force's first female fighter pilot, logging more than 300 combat hours. Whether at the forefront of technological or social innovation, airmen continue to pursue the impossible. What about you? Show the world that impossible ends with innovation. Impossible ends with you. Aim high, Airman.